Welcome to Web Scraping Workshop and in this video we will see how WebHavi can be configured to extract data from Twitter search results. So let's first go to Twitter search and search for any term and let's see how we can extract the data from the list of tweets which are displayed. Now the technique works if, uh, if you even go to a Twitter profile page and try to extract the tweets from that profile. So the method is to start the configuration and we select the data which we need. So this would be the information of the handle which from which the tweet was made and let's then select the tweet content and now comes the tricky part that's to configure the pagination. So this is a page which loads more data as you scroll down. So normally this can be configured if you go by going to the configuration tab and by just selecting the scroll to load next page option. But there is a difference in this page. This page not only loads new data as you scroll down, it also deletes data from the top. So at any point of time, you are looking through a window with a specific number of tweets. So as we scroll down, this window goes down and the number of on the maximum number of tweets displayed on the page or loaded on the page is it does not go beyond a specific number so this method cannot be used and so we have to use a javascript code to do the pagination and you can find this javascript code in the video description below so this is the code which helps to load the next page by scrolling down and you just need to apply this code you can copy this code from the video description below and then we can stop configuration and start mining data you should specify the number of pages to mine and click on the start mine now the power will load the first page extract the tweets displayed on the page use the javascript code to scroll down because there is no uh, scroll button and it will continue that process till the number of pages you have specified has reached. So you can see that Webhavi is able to scrape data by scrolling the page continuously down. So if you have any questions, please feel free to contact our support or please let us know in the comment section below. Thank you.